Hi there. Do you like your movies batshit crazy? Well, if you do, 2010 Slimed is for you. Yes. Yes. Utterly crazy. Before I get into that, let me remind you that in addition to the movie Slimed having a uh, environmental theme, I have an environmental theme. So for every thousand subscribers I get, I have pledged to purchase something from 4Ocean. Maybe not a bracelet, but I've purchased two bracelets so far. And for everything I purchase, they'll pull a pound of trash out of the ocean or off of our coastline. So if you like a clean ocean, here's your chance to help me give you that clean ocean for free. It's free. All you have to do is comment on this video, click that like button, and share this with your friends so that they will also join my channel and help me clean that ocean. Anyway, so we have here the story of Rock Rockerson, a park ranger whose park is being foreclosed by the IRS. Right. Parks are federal uh, federal entities, and he'd be basically a cop, but... Right, so then a Bible salesman shows up, and Rock Rockerson, being an agent, atheist, threatens to kill the man unless he can help save his nature park. So they go out to find a place where they would build a tourist center-esque building and find the green slime, which threatens the world, and they become superheroes. Something like that. It's really a weird movie. I mean, it is hugely a movie about commercialism. It's bizarre. It relates to the fact that none of us are leaving the house. Incidentally, I don't know if you could see this. I mean, this uh, Rock Rockerson's gun here, that does appear in the movie. This dude here is holding a Bible. That does appear in the movie. This chick here has her cleavage showing out. That does not appear in the movie. And these little mutant soldier things are all played by children. So you've got a movie with no sexy sci-fi evil munchkins and green slime and a rat puppet. So, you know, all you need is the bat for the bat shit crazy and this is a bat shit crazy film. Now, I have to admit here that this film despite being this crazy still has a few slow parts that were hard for me to get through but then I just hate everything I do I'm a terrible person but that's not the point so yeah I mean this is a trauma film or at least it's in a trauma style so if you're a trauma fan must watch if you're a casual observer do put this on the watch list because it's one of the more tamer trauma films and you do not have ridiculous amounts of uh, nudity and poop. And I mean, have you ever seen Poltergeist, Night of the Chicken Dead? That film is crazy. And there's lots of nasty poop and nudity. So yes, yes, this is the... Uh, is there a rating on this film? No, not rated. Okay. Also, I think it's on the short side. It's only like, you know, 60 minutes or something. Where, 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 One hour, yeah, 60 minutes. So, yeah, you know, if you want to have the experience of having done some very strange drugs without doing very strange drugs... Spend an hour of your time watching this movie. Put it on your watch list. I'm Richard. Green 
Greetings, capitalist pigs! I am cannot see the broth of my enemies, Borgoth, reminding you to like and comment on this video. And you can find more of me on the Power Sister Horses exclusively on Absurd TV! Directed by Mark Schaefer.